Meanwhile, Donald Trump scored big wins on Super Tuesday, but what led to his victory here to break down Super Tuesday, but what led to his victory here to break down the exit polls? Lee Carter, pollster with and partner with Ms. Lansky and partners. Thanks for going through all the numbers this Anytime. morning. Anytime. All right. Uh, first up, let's talk about uh, Trump wins big among voters who want the next president to be someone from outside the political establishment. I mean, that's very much the jet stream right now. We've been hearing about this over and over and over again. Trump won big in this category. What's interesting in Texas as well, Cruz is considered an outsider despite the fact that he is an insider. Mm -hmm. So that whole jet stream of being an outsider is really, really important. If you look at Massachusetts, Tennessee, Georgia, Virginia, all those st states went for Trump because he's an outsider. There you go. So when it comes to the economy, uh, when asked which candidate is best to handle the economy, where'd it go? To Donald Trump again? It went to Donald Trump, the businessman. Mm -hmm. Everybody that you speak to, the voters that support him say, you know what, he's going to get things done. He makes deals. He's got the language of business. This is going to be a whole new day. They believe that he creates jobs. When you, t I mean, you even heard um, earlier today when we were talking to some voters out there, they were saying, look, he's mm -hmm. created ton tens of thousands of jobs in his career. He's going to do that for America. And that's what they like about him. There were a lot of people in Virginia. They went to the polls later. They were still undecided mm -hmm. at that point. And polls are showing us that they chose Rubio. Let's look at some of these numbers. And I think this is really, really fascinating. I mean, look at that. 38% of people that were late deciders went for Rubio. So it means that his strategy in Virginia was working. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of people are making their decisions last minute. In between 25 and 50% of people are making their decision in the last two or three days before an election. What, These times are critical. What's interesting about that is while Marco Rubio with the late deciders in Virginia got 38% of the vote, Donald Trump still won that particular state. Mm -hmm. The question I've got for you, because you did the dials yeah. yesterday, where uh, people looked at the insult uh, machine that's going on between a couple of the candidates. Do you think, for instance, tomorrow night at the Fox debate at the Fox Theater in Detroit, we're going to see the insulters come out or are they going to try to look more presidential this time? You know, it's so hard to predict in this race. I do. But think what works? What works? Trump taking other people down works for him. I think other people trying to take Trump down does not work for them. But sitting back gets you knocked out. So when you don't do anything, you end up like Governor Walker, Governor Perry, and and you end up like Jeb Bush. Well, you know, it's, it is fascinating right now because the whole news coverage for the last four days leading up to this was Rubio Trump, Rubio Trump. So at least engaging gets you coverage. And then you did see that it did translate to some votes in Virginia, but he needs to do more than that. And that's where he was focused a lot on. The question is now, now, does he go on if he cannot win Florida? And if he has to, can he close that 20 point gap? He's right. promising to stay in it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he, he is. is. Well, he needs to until the 15th of the month, and then we'll see. Things will yeah. change after that. Yeah, All it right. has to. Yeah. yeah. Lee Carter, Thanks, Lee. thank you very much. Anytime.